Hi everyone and welcome to the finale of our Horse Ranch mini-series. But before we do anything, I need to show you a couple of things around the house because you can already tell that it looks kind of different. So since Jesse is going to be having a baby really, really soon and they had some extra money, I think maybe from the nectar, I decided to expand the house a little bit. So this area obviously stayed the same that it was. So the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, everything is kind of like it was before. But the living space is much bigger and much cozier in my opinion. It's just really really nice to kind of like warm up by the fire and just chill here for a little bit, listen to the music. We also have some fishies that Jesse caught at some point and this little area is also something that Jesse actually prepared for Antonia potentially because Antonia was believe it or not in the freelancer career but she never managed to work from the ranch because she honestly just kind of put her life on pause to just participate in Jesse's dreams. So she never got a chance to actually work while she was here. But Jesse's so desperate to get Antonia back that they're trying to set up this little working area. They need to buy like a laptop next or something. So they have this ready for Antonia. I don't think that it's really going to be enough, but Jesse is kind of trying. But of course, I think that most of you were waiting to see the nursery a little bit more up close. And here it is. It's just so, so cute since we already know that Jess is going to be having just one baby I thought that it would be kind of appropriate to just do the nursery have it ready sorry I did everything off camera but it's honestly just a lot easier for me and I feel like it turns out much better when I just do it in my own time so here it is I hope that you like it it's super simple there's not much to it but it's everything a baby would need at the beginning but anyway I see that you are already doing stuff outside Jesse and you are in the garden area which also is usually Antonia's area so Jesse also set up this little bench so in theory Antonia could be like chilling here maybe reading a book maybe working on her tablet or something and resting in her garden. Jesse is really trying to make this happen I don't think that it's going to be helping though but anyway let's get a little bit closer with Blondie because she's your new friend you're not really getting along that well but you should be and while we look at these cute little moments how is Jesse doing how's your pregnancy you just have a child on the Way. I don't know why I can't see their timer. It's a little bit weird. I'm thinking that it's some kind of bug, but I feel like they're somewhere in trimester two. So we'll definitely be having this baby today. And speaking of babies, I'm having some interesting thoughts that maybe I should encourage these two to breed. It would be kind of interesting if they had babies at the same time. It would definitely be a lot more work to have them alongside a new baby, but still, let's just try to encourage them to breed since we have another horse. I think that would be kind of interesting to try that out and I'm sure that Jesse is super curious as well. So are you just, oh you're just on it. You really wasted no time. Oh they really like each other. They're so cute. I love that. Oh this is such a great gift from Carson. Although it's extra work I'm sure that Jesse is super super happy that Bolze also has some company. Oh you're trying to like entertain the garden. Is it feeling a bit neglected because Antonia's not here? Oh no. We'll have Winterfest tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, that's going to be a bit of a sad winter fest since Jesse's kind of all on their own. We might try to invite Antonia. I don't think it's going to work. But speaking of inviting Antonia and communicating with Antonia, oh, you're taking a little photo. Do you want to send that to Antonia? Maybe also take a photo of Blondie so she knows that we also have a new horse. But try to chat a lot and send a lot of messages. Just try to get in touch with Antonia as much as possible because I don't think it's really happening quite yet. But but you kind of need it to happen. It's getting kind of urgent. Oh, and Hazel is inviting you over to GeekCon. Well, it's definitely not something that Jesse is really interested in at all. And they're way too busy anyway. But I like Hazel's thinking here. I'm sure that Hazel would want to be around Jesse, especially because Jesse is carrying her grandson as well. So, of course, that support from Hazel is really appreciated. If anything, I should invite you over probably. Oh, hi, Hazel. You're here already. I did get a really concerning notification that our power got shut off. I did not realize that we had bills when I did all of these renovations so that's definitely my bad. But oh yeah we definitely have
have some nectar to sell, so that's not gonna be a problem. I feel a little bit weird spending all the money that technically Antonia made, because she made all the nectar. I was just gonna have these to talk, but it's official that Blondie is expecting a fall, so it did actually work. So we'll have even more babies around. I don't know how long horse pregnancy lasts, so maybe they'll be giving birth around the same time, which is definitely a lot. I did not think about that. But I was gonna have these to talk, so let's have them catch up a little bit. And I feel like Jesse at least feels like they have to explain themselves to Hazel. And yeah, it is a little bit awkward because Hazel is, of course, kind of mad at Jesse for hurting her daughter. It's kind of fair, but it's not really her business, so she's not gonna get super involved. It is a little bit tense, but as I said, she would be still offering her support to Jesse because Jesse is gonna be the one raising her grandson, so either way, they have to be on good terms. But Jesse is asking how Antonia is doing, so hopefully Hazel's gonna be saying something. I'm sure that she wouldn't really want to keep Jesse in the dark. I think that she would tell her how Antonia is, and that is probably not really that good. She's definitely still upset about everything. Did you really have to do that now? Did you- did you have to do that now? Oh, the horses are getting involved to make things a little bit less awkward. I was just about to have everyone grab some food together, but Hazel's leaving. All right, fair. I guess she doesn't really want to spend the entire day here. She just wanted to check in on Jesse. So that just still leaves us with these two, but they're getting really closer to getting like a lot of sentiments together and stuff. So I feel like things between these two are good. And I guess that all of that happened at the right time so they can support each other. And while Jesse's making dinner, I noticed something kind of concerning actually. I can't believe that I completely missed this until now, but all of our goats and sheep are gone. Something happened while I was in build mode and they just got erased. Yeah, I can't see them anywhere. There is an option to like call goats and sheep to eat, but it doesn't really show up that often, which is weird, and I can't do it now, so we can just kind of hope for the best that these little guys are not lost forever, but I feel like they might be. Maybe they just wander off the lot and they'll be coming back, but I don't think so, which is really upsetting. Oh, and I completely missed it while I was looking for them, that Carson left. His suitcase is gone, I did not realize. But Justin wants to come over. Okay, that's great that Jesse's never really alone, sure. But yeah, it was Carson's final day here, final evening. I didn't realize that he left. That's crazy how I completely missed that. Oh, Justin's here. Hi, Justin. Oh, and actually speaking of Justin, so if you've been watching my other series, you know that he's from Crybaby Whims. It just kind of happened. Don't even ask. It was just such a random thing that he infiltrated my Growing Together series. But when Jesse went to the doctor in the last episode, Lewis is the doctor. I don't know how I didn't see that, but while I was editing, I was like, oh my gosh, that's Lewis. And if you don't know, he's also from my Crybaby Whims Gen 1. And he's actually Justin's half-brother. It's a whole thing. Just don't even ask. Just go watch, honestly. And I actually love that he's a doctor. That suits him so well. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out if you missed it because I have somehow. And Hazel, hi, you're back. Oh, it's kind of nice that both of the grandparents are here at the same time. Let me just invite you in. Oh, you have a key, of course. You can just get in. But it's really nice that both of them are here. How about you maybe just text Antonia and tell her, like, look, both of your parents are here. It'll be kind of nice if you wanted to come over. I don't really think that that's going to be helping still. I have a feeling that Jessie shouldn't be doing this while they're heavily pregnant, which is reminding me that we could actually use this opportunity to go try out the ranch hand service. So we'll have someone come work tomorrow, which is pretty good. We had Carson for that first day of the pregnancy, but we can't really expect Carson to be here the entire time he has his own business and basically his own ranch. Wait a minute. It seems that Jessie had a cryptic pregnancy. She has now realized that she is pregnant. The pregnancy is more advanced than usual point at which sims find out that they're expecting. Is that why I couldn't see your pregnancy thing? Yeah, I can see it now. So you just entered your... No, you're about to enter your third trimester. Oh, that is just so unfortunate that this is the first time I'm having a cryptic pregnancy in the game and I'm experiencing it in a bit of a buggy way because obviously they had a science baby so we knew about the pregnancy but I feel like if Jessie has gotten natural 
prematurely pregnant, they would have rolled for a cryptic pregnancy anyway, and then it would have been a little bit more proper. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And they're feeling dazed from that. Jessie had no idea that she was pregnant. Oh no, they definitely knew. Oh, you have to empty the litter box, which is something that you should not be doing while you're pregnant, but no one else is going to be doing that for you. Are you going to be really putting that in the nursery though? Oh, I completely forgot that these two were still here. Do you mind like helping out a little bit? There's like some dishes to clean. Do you want to help? Well, both of them are leaving now. So I'm having Jesse take care of themselves, get ready for bed, also check out their bump. So maybe you could also be doing some more texting to Antonia. Maybe don't call because it's really, really late to keep Antonia in the loop because I'm sure that a part of her really wants to know and really wants to get involved but can't really get over the entire situation. So she's not necessarily doing the involving herself part herself. Her side of the bed is still ready. So Jessie is still so, so hopeful that Antonia is going to be coming back. Well, it's the next morning. Let's have you take care of yourself. You will absolutely pee yourself. So let's maybe work on that. But it's going to be kind of a lot easier to take care of the ranch and the animals because we just have so much like less of them. <laughs> oh, and it's Winterfest. Right. I forgot about that. Well, I guess that I should get you a tree. I just don't have any room to put it somewhere in the house. This always happens to me. But the weather is super nice. So we could just easily put it outside. So we have something to look forward to so we could decorate the tree once Jessie's feeling a little bit better. But I was going to say that it is kind of a little bit sad because we only have basically these two to, to take care of now. I don't really know what happened to the little guys. I would like to just say that maybe Jessie realized that it's too much work and decided to sell them or give them to Carson. Although I don't think that she would do that, but that's just what I'm going to go for because any other explanation is just too sad. But how are you feeling? How far along are you? Oh, you could give birth anytime. I feel like the labor is going to kick in tonight, potentially. Oh, our ranch hand is here. Hello, we should get to know you a little bit better. Say hello and maybe become friends. I think that this is a good opportunity to also kind of be friendly with people. But let me assign you some chores. Well, you are already apparently on everything, so I'm going to leave it that way. And maybe you could collect some manure because I'm sure that there's plenty of it around. Stop going to dancing. No, no, no. Stop dancing. Hey, I see you. I see you. I don't want to dance together. Well, maybe Jesse would want to, but no, you are not getting paid for that. Go work. Honestly, getting that ranch hand doesn't seem that useful because Jesse's still doing most of the things on their own. But to be fair, I feel like Jesse would enjoy that because they like the way that they are running things and they like to know that things are done properly. So I don't really blame them, but they maybe shouldn't do everything on their own, especially not stuff like this. Um, hello, could you stop staring at the fish and actually do something? I asked you to collect the manure like multiple times already. I asked them to collect the manure one more time and they literally ran off. You know what? You are getting so fired right now. So you are going to be leaving my ranch. You will not be stealing the money from me. Well, I do have to pay you, I guess, unfortunately. But but you did not deserve that. No way. Look at these two having a nap together. That's so cute. Oh, Carson is here. Oh, and Hazel is calling. Jesse, I've been thinking about getting to know Thorn Bailey better as a friend. Look at Hazel mingling with celebrities. Sure, go for it. But let's invite Carson in and I think that... Oh, I can give you a Winterfest gift. I don't really know if I have anything that's really... I can give you some outstanding horse manure. I don't know if that's really an appropriate Winterfest gift but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Now, Carson, please don't be mad about the gift. I'm really trying to do something nice for you here, so please, please like it. I mean, he's in the same field of work as Jesse is, so maybe he's gonna appreciate it. No? You're feeling a little bit hurt by that? No, we're fine. I don't know why he has that hurt pop up all the time. It's just a bit of a bug. I guess that it's just a permanently damaged relationship, but they're really working on it. I was gonna have them make the grand meal together, but I realized that we need some groceries, so I just ordered a bunch of of stuff. Oh, and here's our delivery already. I really did not expect it so soon. Let me just accept that real quick. I did have her send a couple of messages to Antonia. Let's... Oh, they are actually talking. I was gonna maybe end this. I guess I'm just gonna cancel the other one so you can get the groceries. But that looked like it was kind of going well. They don't really hate each other as much anymore. But anyway, I think that everything is kind of ready. Oh, we need prepped veggies. Oh gosh, how do I even do that? I don't know. Do I need to... How do I prep the veggies? Oh, I need to have the food properly processor thing, right? Uh, I don't even have room for that. I need to get an extra counter. I didn't want to expand this kitchen. Fine, let's get you another counter then. They're already getting so tired.
tired and we haven't even done anything for Winterfest and I kind of have to keep their energy in mind because they will be in labor later so I really don't want them to be completely exhausted for that but anyway the ingredients are finally ready so we could do some cooking together with Carson although both Jesse and Justin were around so it'd be nice to invite them but anyway let's do a ham dinner for Winterfest I should put up the decorations because I forgot so the house and the entire ranch is looking so much cuter and so much more festive that actually looks really nice oh blondie blondie you are in labor oh, but you're asleep i guess that we have some time to maybe just eat really quickly and then we have to go here together because i really don't want to miss this can i do anything i can wake you up i don't want to wake you up because you're gonna be very upset once you realize that you're in labor so i'm gonna let you chill for a second oh but you're actually going with your food and carson's also here maybe we should be waking up blondie because i'm worried like what if jesse also goes into labor and then they're just in labor together that would be way too stressful so let's deal with this oh you can soothe the horse that's in labor i think the carson might be leaving so that's really unfortunate oh but justin's here hi justin do you want to witness this oh and father winter is here as well i could be asking for a present really quickly maybe do a howdy introduction i think he had filled up this pile oh blondie thank you for coming over so it's gonna be quite easier to manage everything he's already giving you so many gifts and the tree's not even decorated yet so you didn't really deserve it honestly but what are you gonna be getting i'm really curious hopefully it's something good something appropriate you love it what do you love oh a gaming mat i don't think that's really something you're really into i'm just waiting for blondie to potentially give birth it would be kind of nice if she gave birth during winterfest with like the tree here and everything it looks really cute oh it's actually happening <laughs> that's actually happening it's a bit of a shame that carson's not here to witness it because i'm sure that he would be really happy blondie just had had a fall so what am i gonna call him i actually don't know oh you know what i'm gonna call him this is such a throwback if you remember when jesse well actually when antonia gifted bullseye to jesse i completely forgot about that but his original name was truck i'm pretty sure which was just so stupid so i changed it but i think that it'd be kind of a nice little throwback to that to call his firstborn truck oh you had more oh i did not consider this how many children do horses usually have oh no so this one's a girl i honestly have no clue what to call this one i'm just gonna randomize because i have no names ready well actually it's winterfest could we maybe do something wintry something christmasy i think that mistletoe is kind of cute maybe a bit of a weird name for a horse but it's really fitting so i'm gonna go for that oh no another one how many are you having i'm not ready for this oh i'm gonna call this one vixen because it's one of santa's reindeers and that's such a missed opportunity they could have called all of them by one of the reindeer oh that's such a shame i don't want to change it now but that that would have been the move but anyway let's see them where are they oh my gosh they all look like their mom i'm kind of disappointed because i wanted at least one of them to look like bullseye oh they're so cute oh and they like you that's good they like you you just became friends with mistletoe so say hi to vixen as well and to truck oh and i noticed that i missed a notification that's really interesting so mistletoe got a breedable trait and it is curious and vixen got playful so that's only traits that they can get when they are actually born in game oh and truck actually got playful as well despite all of the very exciting things happening jesse is really not doing well i need to send him to sleep but i'm gonna have you open at least one present because i mean we had winterfest and you didn't really receive well you just received three huge presents honestly so i guess you don't really need one from here i will send jesse to sleep because i think that their labor is gonna kick in literally any second now oh i knew this would happen i knew it where are you going jesse what are you doing oh as soon as the first snow started and jesse woke up to go see it they got into labor you want to go back to sleep for a little while but since you are just home and things are like really busy you just had like three new animals i think that i will have jesse give birth at home oh no jesse you'll need to have a birth emergency you might need an emergency c-section but that's that's weird you just got into labor i guess i'm gonna hold you a midwife i was gonna do this a little bit later but since you are getting a little bit freaked out and there's something wrong i guess i do need to have a midwife with you and you just peed yourself i really just can't look after you as much as i should be sorry about that yeah fair maybe take a shower before checking dilation because right now you are really gross falling asleep in the tub though does not seem like it's a really smart decision
decision right now ever honestly bit weird that the midwife is watching you in the shower but maybe they're just making sure that you're safe so let's see about that dilation how is that going for you hopefully well i really hope that things have improved and you're four centimeters that's actually kind of almost halfway there so you're good maybe you should be well i was gonna send you for another walk but maybe you should be sleeping for a couple of hours oh oh no i'm so mad i was gonna hire a ranch hand so they can take care of the horses while we're gone but now we actually just have to go and we are absolutely taking antonia there she needs to be there for the birth of their child here we are at the hospital and we can ask the doctor for an epidural antonia is freaking out oh and lewis is here the doctor in question let's ask you for an epidural oh and antonia just left are you serious i need to invite you back i can't believe that antonia just decided to leave jesse like that again just like with the ultrasound missing the ultrasound is one thing still kind of bad but missing the birth is just a completely different issue i can't i can't let antonia miss the birth there's no way so try to invite her back and she better actually be here otherwise i'm gonna drag her here she would rather not come no i don't think so antonia you will be here you absolutely Absolutely. Oh my god, I'm so mad. You ever get that glitch with MCC where you use it and a gray screen like this just shows up and you can't click anything? Luckily, I can save the game, but I am mad and I'll just jump back in when I'm back. Anyway, that was stressful, but we're back now. Things are back on track and Jessie's super exhausted, but I'm gonna have her try to just beg Antonia to come back here at this point because I don't want to risk it again. I might have to though because Antonia is just being so stubborn but she can't miss the birth of their child. All right finally after a lot of begging and pleading Antonia is gonna be here but Jesse keeps trying to give birth but she's waiting for Antonia. Oh I'm getting <gasps> no 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 no! don't go anywhere. Okay you're going to sleep you're gonna nap a little bit. I mean I don't know how I feel about that because you are getting ready for oh no it's actually happening oh Oh no, add to group and form a group with- and no, Antonia is still not here. No, you are here. You are here. Just run to the room. Oh my god. She's missing it. This is actually the first time I'm doing like a c-section in my game and it's such a mess because Antonia is not here. I'm so upset and I'm sure that Jesse is really upset as well. The baby has been born already without Antonia here. I'm just gonna move on from that and that's gonna be a whole different issue for them later. But let's name him. And his name is gonna be Benjamin Earl and the story why is honestly quite silly because it's B-E kind of like bull's eye. Jessie found a way to really secretly name her child after her horse and I was gonna have Antonia maybe pick one of the names so they can participate in that together but since Antonia could not even be bothered to be in the room, Jessie is having the full right to completely choose the name by themselves and they went with this so we have a little horse boy getting born right now and let's actually see him oh my god c-sections just really freak me out but it's it's nice to see that this worked out well let's just let lewis continue doing his work let's not look at that the circumstances of everything are just really strange but still i like seeing this so are you feeling all right do you want to go yell at Antonio? or something or do you want to go home and look at your baby? I think that going home and actually looking after the baby is a much better much more productive thing to do so we're not going to be dealing with Antonia if she really just decided to completely ignore her child. Honestly Antonia never really wanted this child and I can't really blame her for not wanting to be a parent when she didn't want to be one. Unfortunate that things worked out this way but all right at least Lil Ben has one parent that really really loves him. With that I want to thank you for watching this mini series. I hope that you have enjoyed it as much as I have. I know that it wasn't really that much ranch focused, it was more so about their really turbulent relationship, but it just kind of happened that way with some horse stuff sprinkled in. Still, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to see how Ben's life turns out, because I will be kind of moving on with him in for Rent expansion pack when I start that series, I think that Ben is going to be a side character slash love interest for a different sim. I kind of decided to do these series that way so kind of like we had Jesse as the main character now and Antonio
Antonia was from a previous expansion pack and she was the love interest. So I feel like I'll just continue that theme. So we'll be seeing Ben all grown up. I'll be doing a bit of a time skip. So you'll see him as a young adult next once Four Rent comes out. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching this series. And I hope to see you in the future one. Goodbye.